Note, this episode assumes you've seen the episodes on the existence of God and the truth of Catholicism. Please check the directory in the video description if you haven't watched those yet. Hey, welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything, as long as we use logic and common sense. This season, I thought it would be a good idea to get into the question of the teachings of Catholicism specifically. Lately, we've been talking about the various teachings and how to classify them. Today, how should doctrines affect our beliefs? It's a firm belief of mine that pure reason, approached with honesty and a desire to know the truth, can be used to prove most truth claims. However, while you can use pure reason to prove that God exists, or that he is both one and multiple, you can't use it to prove how many persons there are in God, or how those persons relate to each other. The only way you can get to those truths is by proving which doctrines are reliable and trustworthy, then trusting them once you know that they are. Pure reason can prove that at least one religion must be true, and it can prove which one it is. That's as far as you need to go in order to rationally justify belief in the doctrines. After all, if a religion is true, then so are its claims. It's that simple. But if we have the knowledge gained through philosophy, math, science, and experience, why do we need doctrine? Well, for a couple of reasons. First, because some things may be entirely true, and yet not be something you can find out through these methods. A simple example would be how many planets there are in Galaxy EGS ZS81. We have no way to know this because we can't go there and check, nor can we receive a clear enough image from that far away. We also can't deduce this through logic or mathematics. It's unknown. Our knowledge, through the methods of proof, does have its limits. Therefore, if some piece of information is important enough, God can provide us with it as a doctrine, a piece of knowledge which our own methods can't obtain, but which is true regardless. Secondly, because sometimes the reasons why we know something to be true are complicated or difficult to understand, and many people just don't have the time or skills needed to sift through all the arguments and evidence or to use logic responsibly to arrive at accurate conclusions. For those people, having a reliable source of information which they can always trust is often enough. So long as the source is proven to be dependable, they don't need any further proof and can, in essence, take a shortcut to trusting the truths of God. That brings me to the final point. We've gone over the subject of faith in some past episodes. It's certainly true that some people have faith in things that they can't prove for themselves, and provided that the source of that information is dependable, there's nothing wrong with that. I repeat. There is nothing wrong with having faith in something that you have good reasons to think is true. Now, the usual objection that people bring against faith is that it's not a trustworthy source. Well, that depends on who or what you're having faith in. We all know that having faith in a trustworthy friend is much better than having faith in the New York Mets. Why? Because in one case you're dealing with a reliable source, and in the other, an unreliable one. The more reliable the source, the more justified the person is in trusting it. And that's especially the case with sources that are proven to be right, like Catholic doctrine. I've seen a few situations where a person has essentially manufactured their own belief system and had faith in that. That's very unreliable, but not because of their faith. The reason it's unreliable is because the source is unreliable. So, in conclusion, both faith and doctrine may be entirely justified, provided that they come from reliable sources, and they can even reveal things to us that we could never find out on our own. Next time, is true doctrine practical? That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.